Hey guys, it's Neon, and I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, make another attempt at doing a video on this subject. We actually had one earlier, and there have been some new uh, details that came to light, so we scrapped it. Uh, we're talking about the situation with. Brandon Graham from Image Comics. Yeah, I didn't even really knew who that was. So. <laughs> and, uh, well, he had a he had a couple of hits uh, with uh, the Island. He's considered an indie comics gatekeeper in Portland. Um, he's kind of a big deal in indie comics circles. Uh, but anyway, he's been the subject of some controversy over the last couple of days uh, due to no surprise Twitter drama. Oh, wait, there's drama on Twitter? There's you don't say! On Twitter. So apparently, as I understand it, there have been some rumors about his love life. Uh, and who, that matters in comics because... Uh, apparently it matters because in comics, if you're part of the comics community, your business, your personal business is everybody's business. Well, see, that's the problem with the comics community. You said it there and not even realizing it. You were using business and personal. And it used to be a business. And it was a business and things were done by business standpoint it wasn't personal mm. they would change with who needed change they want to change up the style for business reasons and now it's just everybody with any kind of baggage whatsoever can come on there and it's all about personal and feelings and you know the high school drama and it's not even about a business anymore it's about it's it's about immaturity and personal feelings right so there was um anyway one of the one of the affected parties i guess had been uh saying some stuff about him on twitter um, and, uh, you know, any more, if there's even a whiff of wrongdoing, like immediately you're, you're guilty. I mean, that's just the way Well, it doesn't even matter as wrongdoing, <laughs> wrongdoing by whose standards, because well, I mean, yeah. heck just you standing here because you're, you're white and males wrongdoing according to them. I'm taking up your space. I'm, my legs are spread too. Uh, <laughs> it's all mansplain me. I'm, I'm man spreading all over the chair because... Yeah, I was I catching up on Legends of Tomorrow, and they actually found a way to get the word God. mansplaining in there, and it wasn't even really mansplaining. And I was like, are you kidding me? But anyway, go ahead. So anyway, so yeah, some of the affected parties were making comments on Twitter, and apparently he finally just came out and he did a a comic on Tumblr uh, calling out a bunch of people involved in, in the rumors and whatever. And, uh, you know, he made some comments that didn't sit well with people. He compared uh, one of the people involved in this situation uh, to a the troll from Central Park. And the person tends to be, or is a, a person of color. And then they were saying that he was being racist because he put a picture of a troll up with a cartoon like a troll. Which wait, isn't. what's the half? There's a lot of trolls on Twitter. Yeah. And I don't think it has anything to do with race. Well, it is racism in the fact that, you know, I just love how... You're not allowed to say anything about anyone because it's not okay. And it really isn't okay. However, if you're white and male, they can say whatever they want and that's okay. Like if you interchange it with any other race or gender, it's not allowed. Well, that, okay, that's that's where I want to go with this. Because, okay, so he, he put up this this uh, scathing, uh, scathing uh, uh, Tumblr comic and he basically called all of these people out for their crap behavior and basically told them to all go take up like bit more or less the, the gist of this comic was oh, i have comments but go ahead yeah why are you why are you attacking me publicly why are you calling me out publicly if you have a problem with my behavior or you think i'm doing something wrong why don't you approach me privately i don't know why do they never approach anyone privately why do they just start banning banning people with ban lists <laughs> and the, the you the know block bot i call brigade. it the six degrees of kevin bacon where you might have known somebody who knew somebody who knew somebody and now you're banned yeah actually you're actually banned on the ban list i i am banned on the hilarious. ban list by people who actually know me in real life which is and they banned you weird. before there was a list because you said marvel numbers are bad yeah, I got I you know I did that uh, the previous video on Marvel Comics and how I speculated that, that Marvel That was a story from a while ago. That was a story from a while ago, but not long after that happened, I actually wound up on some of these block lists because they thought I was part of the Comics Gate thing. And at that point, I didn't even know what Comics Gate was. Yeah, you didn't I didn't even know about it. I just knew there was there were some problems in comics and everybody had lost their freaking minds. It was ridiculous. Um so he puts this comic up out on Tumblr and the internet freaking explodes. Everybody's got a, a, you know opinions on this. And then just, they all dogpile on like they usually do. The yes, because that's what they do. Right. And they're doing, you know, they're doing it for likes. They're doing it for retweets. They're doing it for, uh, to gain followers. Well, that's so. what they do. A couple of them I know for a fact. That's their business model is to jump on anything. Outrage. Say whatever. And yeah. then they get, look all the followers I've got. Yeah. But they also, um, when they do this too, that makes me, it's interesting to me, is we're going to call you out. We're going to say all these things. We're going mm -hmm. to jump on you. But then we're going to ban you. 
so you can't you can't, <laughs> can't respond reply. you yeah. know because we I, don't we want to you should talk to us but we're not gonna let you talk I to tried us. to I actually tried to look into the situation more uh, so I had a better understanding of what was actually going on and I I couldn't because some of the people involved had me blocked like I you didn't even, even know them I didn't even know them like I couldn't even give you a fair shake to see what was actually going on because you had me blocked so whatever um so he pulled the comic down because of the outrage and uh, then the comics gators kind of came to his defense. And they were like, you know, there was. I don't know if they were defending him. They were kind of like more like, well, whoa, com- what's this? Yeah, mess they were basically about? like, what is. You know, there's smoke, there's fire. What's going well, on? Well, no, they were, calling, they were calling out the fact, and this is entirely true, I think, that the, the SJW comic book types uh, tend to eat each other alive. Well, yeah. Like it, they do. They, there's a, like I said to you before, there's like a set rubric that no one but certain people know what that is. And I think it constantly changes. Yeah. And, and if you don't meet the requirements for that day, you're, you know, I think they have to find some, well, their, their numbers might have been do- dropping and they needed somebody else to throw <laughs> under the bus to get themselves up on their numbers again. Yeah. So, I mean, he's he a, was a guy. So he's a high profile, uh, white male creator. So yeah, you know, he's a perfect target. Um, so then that's what actually really kind of set me off because people are making comments about him, but I would say half of the comments I read on Twitter started off with white male yeah. or contained the term white male and what's that have um, to do with anything it has nothing to do well it has nothing to do with the situation at hand but also has everything to do i know with the I'm situation at hand, facetious but which you know it, 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 you, several people were like well there's another white male being a white male yeah, I, I didn't know, like, you know there was like you know, I didn't know there was a, like a, a you know book of here's a list of what white males do because you know I didn't know that. Well, 2018, uh, 2017, 2018 in the comic book industry, uh, being a middle aged white male is the worst possible thing you can be. I mean, I am serious. Like it is. No, no, there's one worse. You, if you're conservative and straight. Oh yeah, conservative. You're not even gonna get in the door. So I mean, if you're those things, <laughs> if you're all those things, you're totally screwed. So you want to wonder, you wonder why all of these, uh, you know, they call them the white knight, the white knight comic book, middle aged comic book dudes are virtue signaling like crazy. They're it's, so scared it's gonna be them next. It's gonna be them next. Now, the and thing, one misstep, people, and it will be you. Even no matter how much you're on their side, if you do something, if they imply that you do something and they think you did, you're screwed. They're going to come after you. And I can't tell you how many people have written us or talked to us that we know and have been like, I agree with you. I'm so scared of saying anything because if I say something, even though I know they're wrong, I'm next. There are quite a few. And I've I've said this before. There are quite a few comic book creators out there who actually uh, support quietly support the whole comic skate movement they just cannot say anything and about it i don't know if it's so much of the comic skate movement it's just right they tired support, of the they sjw su- yeah they just support rational middle ground right like people are like i am totally against you know her, you know discriminating against people based on you know any kind of you know discrimination right. but i am not for the way they're behaving towards other people because honestly what they're doing is exact same thing they say it, they're it against it's it's but it's okay because that's they're setting the rules it's their rubric it's their club right and which they're only going to be in power for a little bit of time and then they're yeah. going to be out like every other wave is i don't know what they think they're going to be doing well to rate the comic book industry is dying you know it's they're going to be out the door pretty soon because it's not a sustainable thing um but then the, the code of this and this is why we re-recorded this is uh, after we recorded the original version of it, uh, here it turns out that Brandon Graham actually took down that comic because Which is of the backlash. Up all over the place. You can find it. It's all it. over the place. It's archived. I'll even put a link in it's the called, description. It's called Sunlight. Sunlight. Uh, he took it down <laughs> no. and he posted um, kind of a, an apology slash retraction on Tumblr. Uh, talking oh, about now he's trying to get back in the club. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. He basically oh, nuked, my bad. He nuked the bridge and now he's like, you know, I just want to be clear that I'm not supporting these comic skate people, um, which is so, this is so ridiculous. Um, I'll actually read what he says. In, okay, read this and I'll read some of his original comments. Okay, this is his, his the last paragraph of his quote with this new cartoon he put up. Uh, the comic skate stuff is still a bummer and even the people I was shitting on in that comic deserve to make their work in an environment that doesn't attack their gender, sexuality, etc. They're attacking his gender and sexuality, but whatever. Right, I hope I was clear in going after just their actions and not who they are. Well, he was good about making sure he blocked out names and things. He, well, that's the thing that gets me. He actually he actually blocked out the names in the comics, and it was the, the people attacking him on Twitter that that made sure they tagged the the two women in i know so they out situation. of themselves i'm they, assuming that was them yeah yeah um, i'm like this is just nuts but uh, this call out culture again this is like it's mob mentality it's like trial by 
your peers in a public forum. I wouldn't versus, even say peers. They're just, they're, yeah, you know, the, well, they wish they, they were yeah. peers sometimes. But but um, the thing is, is that I, I'm sorry, uh, Brandon Graham, if you're listening to this. Oh, he's not. Y- yeah, I'm sure. And he's if he not. does, he can't admit to it because he'll be banned for sure. <laughs> if you are listening to this, you will never be allowed back in the club. They will never trust you again. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. They will ridiculous. never trust you again. You will always be on the back burner. They will find ways to look at what they did with CB Sobolski. CB Sobolski came out about his using the uh, the Japanese pen name. When that came out and the SJWs jumped all over him, now he's like he's like a beat puppy. You see him in interviews and he's just like this like sad man that he knows he can't say the wrong thing or they're going to dogpile on him and he will lose his job. The same thing is going to happen to Brandon Graham. Like once you've been chastised by the mean girls. You're on the list. That's forever. just what it is. Is it's like it's this high school pathetic high school mentality, and it's like you know, well you 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 snubbed me and you didn't you know oh you're not dating me now so I'm gonna go start this that, that everything else and then that whole attitude of going to do it a comic and posting it publicly it reminds me of like if you're on Facebook and so and so is like. <sighs> I'm so upset right now, but I can't talk about why. Yeah. And it's like, chase me, chase me. And that's kind of what it was. I'm upset and you didn't come talk to me, so I'm going to post this and you have to chase me. And I'm sure he did. But I was going to read some of the comments he did put in the original one, which I thought were kind of funny. Um, if someone had come to me and like basically said, hey, I think I, I think you made some bad choices, we could have talked. We could have talked. I'm like, well, I don't know. There is no talking with you there people. There is no talking there with is, people. There is, you say what you want. You bash, you block, and then well, you have the last word then because they can't say anything. Yeah, because you yeah, block them because you cannot have a mature conversation because this goes back to that personal and business thing. Yeah. You're so busy with your head up your own ass thinking that your baggage is more important than the business that you, this is how you behave, which is not going to be a business if you keep this up. Yeah. Um, and then he's like, you know, about, oh, I love this one. The one person's name talked to me on Twitter, but then in emails was was so excited to rag or to talk about Meg's behind their back. This is one thing I'm going to mention in comics, and we've run into this from time and time again. People do this all the time. Mm. They are one person online. Oh, yeah, go us, go us, go us. Oh, I'm so your friend. I'm so happy for you and everything else. And behind the scenes, they're like, screw you. I can't believe that so-and-so got that gig over me because they don't have this and that and everything else. Or they think they're going to get through this and they're not going to do any work. They have another thing coming. They are complete backbiter, backstabbing assholes. And I know this from a fact because we've been around the block with these people. Indie comics, I hate to break it to you. I mean, this is why we've, we've really stepped away from the scene uh, as much as we have in recent years. Indie comics is one of the most cutthroat, like backstabbing is gossipy, catty. Uh, it's it's unreal because, you know, for, for, for it trying to be this like welcoming community, it's like everybody's there for the same thing. Yep. They all want... They all want to be somebody. They all want to get to the top of the heap. They all want to be, mm-hmm. you know, a, a, a well-respected comic book professional. And frankly, a lot of them are are willing to pull a Tanya Harding <laughs> and like bash somebody's kneecaps yeah. if it means that behind, they get ahead. behind their back. Right. And the thing is, a lot of these people have all these followers. It's because people think honestly, it, comics, especially web comics, is very very incestuous. And what I mean by that is everybody follows each other. They're like there really aren't a lot of readers that are just plain readers that are out there in the streets they aren't even reading the stuff going on on the internet half the time they don't even know no. mostly what the people that are getting support from are other creators right. thinking that if i if i support loud enough and i circle jerk hard enough <laughs> i'm gonna be <laughs> that might be painful yeah but i'm just saying if i tug it as hard as i can i might break in the comics th- that's what they think and and then i know like in web comics especially one of the things they tell people to get readers is go follow a lot of people because they'll follow you and read your comic it's, it's not the same even, in any comics it's, it's it's not even yeah. about really selling. It's about trying to get somebody else to, to follow you back because you're following them to look like you have more numbers right. to suck up and maybe possibly you'll get discovered. Yeah, and to have the right people follow you so you get cred so you can be left let into the club. Yeah, so you if know, you kiss their butt hard enough, they might perhaps maybe you know follow you back and then that gives you credit. And it, it, it's it, webcomics is really bad about that in the fact that um, we've mentioned many times, I think they need to find readers and bring in people that aren't creators, but there's so many people that they're just following each other and then they're like, I don't understand why I don't have enough readers. It's like, because they're not real readers. There are other creators just getting you to follow them back. Right, and that's the same with, you see these uh, indie comics creators and some of them have like tens of thousands of Twitter followers, but like those people aren't actually buying the comics because a lot of them just want to break in the comics themselves. Mm-hmm. And they're actually, they're too freaking poor to buy that's the comics. They're not. So like they can't so buy So that's comics. why the comic sales are down because the readership that you're seeing is mostly other creators trying to 
suck up to creators. And then um, the the people, like the regular people out buying comics, they don't even know what's going on with this no. because they don't care and they don't follow these people on Twitter. The, the people that are being followed, that, that are involved in this whole thing are other creators because most audiences don't follow. They know that they want something changed. They know that they're not liking what's out there, but they're not on Twitter, you know, in getting involved in it because right. a lot of them don't even know to. They're just like, what? No, and actually the worst thing you can do, and I, I said this in the previous version we recorded, uh, the worst thing you can do as a comic book reader is follow comic book professionals on Twitter. For the love of God, don't do it. Uh, you will be absolutely devastated at some of the crap that you read. It's not about business. It's about personal baggage and that's what it, it's it's high school yeah. all over you know you how you what couldn't wait to get out of high school so you have to deal with these with these crap heads well guess what it's the internet is this high school magnified well so. I, I think i think in comics it's actually worse though i mean we've had theories before about you know just the nature of the business it tends to attract people that aren't I was a nobody in high school, and now I want to be Mr. Big Man or Mrs. Big Woman, and so I'm going to be, you know what I mean, like that? Yeah, I think I think comics tends to, because it, of the transient nature of the industry, that you're basically, it's it's unstable, you're going from job to job, when you're doing conventions, uh, you're almost living like a carny person, going from show to show. You which know, we've and, done. Which we've done, we've done it, and it's hard, it's, it's not... This is not the lifestyle. That's why we for, don't do it anymore. Right. <laughs> you know, we're married with kids in a mortgage. This is why we don't do Plus it. Plus the bullcrap and the yeah. backstabbing and the, the nepotism and everything else is so terrible. It's not even worth it. I mean, some of the most cutthroat behavior was over mouse mouse comics. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Disney comics. It's just. It's, just it, it's like best in show. It the is. Movie with the dog. Oh, the it's just dog awful. Show. But real quick, I wanted to do a couple more of these comments because I think they're hilarious. Um. So then he was like talking about how he met his friend. So-and-so met with his good friend at Van Calf. And instead of talking to him and saying like, "Why, you know, hey, you know, you effed up. Do you need, you know, you, do you need to do better?" They immediately block him on Twitter and make a comic about him. You mean they blocked you on Twitter because they didn't agree with you because you didn't follow what they wanted and they blocked you? Not only do they make, I know that's that's very tip. That's wow, what, it's called karma. Yeah, well, it is. I mean, this is honestly the way I look at it. It's like, dude, uh, you're crapping on the 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 conservative fans in comics and you're kind of getting a taste of what they're going well, even through people aren't conservatives even moderate people in the middle are conservative but they're calling you all you know alt-right nazis because you don't 100 percent agree with them i mean i feel like i'm doing another solo video right now because i don't 100 percent agree with one thing and then i get my <laughs> fandom question right and left um i like this one too what kind of capitalist coward beep is that um, how were because we they were selling the comic. It wasn't that they just did the comic to get their feelings out. They actually created a comic about the did situation really? of, with Brandon Graham and That's then funny. sold it. So, like, what the frick? How were we even friends if you care more about making a comic and then about me and speaking to me about something that you think I did? Well, welcome to the internet, dipshit. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, I, I said shit anyway. But welcome. I mean, like. This is what's going on with all you people. So why are you so surprised when it turns around and does the same thing because to you? Because it's you're getting a taste of what is going on with other people in the, that aren't on your team, that aren't in your club. Yeah. And then he goes, say, if there's a problem, maybe try to reach out and solve it with some dignity instead of making it a public circus. They don't know how they don't don't know what dignity means for one, and two, they don't know what how not to be a public circus because they count on it. They count. They on, they, they count on this. This is how they get their 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 you know points for the day. And, their yeah. followers and and every day I'm feeling down on myself. Day I'm depressed. Let me go start start a shit storm oh, on Twitter God. so people will stroke my ego. Yeah, I mean, and, I'm, and that's on both sides, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know, but the thing the thing is is that like he's trying to apologize, pseudo apologize to get himself back in the club. Uh, like, you'll never be trusted again, Brandon. I'm sorry. Once you're out of the club, you're out of the club until the people running the club are out of office. Yeah, I mean, and, it, and you don't have to do anything other than being like a certain color or a certain gender, mostly male and white. I'm yeah. just saying um, to be ousted. You don't know what it's like to be male, middle class and white. I mean, said Ben Folds. <laughs> I'm just I'm just like, you it's know, it's tough. <laughs> I am 100 percent for true diversity of 100 percent for you know people because honestly when i'm looking at a comic my first thought isn't was this done by a white person my first thought isn't is this person gay uh, that's not my thoughts when i read a comic i'm like is the story good would i buy yeah. it again i mean most people honestly don't care about these things they're making these issues exist that aren't really issues that it, you know what i mean well and this is why the sales are suck. i mean and 
this is one thing I did say in the other video that I'm, I'm going to reiterate uh, here. Um, I think what's going to happen, I think the comic, the, the comic book industry as it is now, I think is going to eat itself a lot. I mean, it is. The people it are already eating, is. They're cannibalizing themselves. Um, they're fighting amongst themselves. The sales are dropping off like a high school. freaking I mean, cliff because of it. My brain hurts. And what's probably going to happen, and we'll do some other videos about where we think the future of comics is going to go, but I think what's probably going to happen is there's going to be a a sort of a another comic book industry that sort of grows up alongside. Yeah, of I think it's going to evolve. The not mainstream. Um, yeah, and and it's going to kind of supplant the direct market and all this nonsense. And a lot of these people, frankly. I don't think they're going to be around in five years. I really don't. It's just... Well, they'll move on to something else. Because... <laughs> this something else I mean, I'm not just saying that. This, this I, I, I've been watching this... I don't want to call it generation. It makes me sound old. But I've been watching this whole mentality of this younger, these younger people. And they basically are just hit and run. Yeah. It's like, hit, do what you can do, call it, run. And then, oh, look, over there's something shiny. Let's go hit... Let's go for after anime next. Or let's go after, yeah. you know... TV next. Television, I mean, that's how we yeah. ended up with that Thundercats fiasco. Yeah. And so I'm just like, you know, but I got a, I got a man button, so it's okay. But um, I'm one of you guys, even yeah. though I'm a white dude. But he's a man button, so that gives him points. That gives him some. Yeah, it's like that thing we read the other day about uh, in, in China. They're actually doing this. They're going to have uh, like a citizen score, almost like a social. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Like a so your social security number, your credit score, where they actually have all these cameras on you and they watch your behavior day to day and they grade you based on how you interact with other people, what you do every day. That's kind of what Twitter has become for comics, where it's sort of their grading system of who the good ones, quote well, unquote, but, but are. By what? By, by who decides who's the good ones? But you know what? It's just like who decides what the criteria are. Whoever the gatekeepers are in comics at the moment, whoever has whatever power they think they have as an editor or publisher or whatever, uh, those are the people who dole out the points. And frankly, if you're a straight white dude, you've already got like negative 50 points. Uh, you've already got a handicap. What is the you said? <laughs> you said about gatekeepers and, and, and like like they have this power because you're an editor. I'm like, what be doing for you? You're yeah. a, a, a big. You're an editor you're on a comic that no one cares about. Twenty five thousand dollars a year if you're lucky, living in a major metropolitan area. Fantastic but I'm, life. I'm an editor. Fantastic lifestyle. So right? am you're, I. You're basically a paid intern anymore. I mean, there used to be really good editors, and now I, I frankly think a lot of them are just paid interns. Um, just keeping comics going on fumes and it's, I don't know. It just, it's last. just, it's just a mess. But the whole reason we brought this up was because this person was supposed to be one of them and, you know, through behavior they didn't like, he got immediately, you know, like crucified on the internet mm -hmm. for it. Um, but he kind of did it to himself though. Like he put that out there. I don't know what he thought was going to happen. And now he's trying to be all apologetic, but it's funny cause he's like, you don't even want to discuss it. You're just going to block me. And it's like, yeah, it sucks, right? Right? It's yeah, bullshit, I know, right? 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 Yeah. Yeah. You know, it sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Karma. So, and the thing is, is I'm going to, is the third or fourth time I've said, they're never going to fully trust him. He's never going to be in the club. And even if they let him in the club, he's going to have to like lick their boots to be able to, to keep whatever standing he's got. So he's basically going to be their bitch from now on. I mean, that's the truth. It's he's, he's screwed up. He, uh, Most of these people are their bitches because they think that, that by kissing up to them, they're going to get work. Yeah, but I mean, he's basically, he's going to have to spend the rest of his career uh, kissing ass to make sure that that he stays in the good graces of these people because they have this over him. They can hold this over him now uh, and they will not forget. <laughs> I guarantee you they will not forget. And the lesson that we learned from this whole thing is keep your dick in your pants and that's never what happened. <laughs> Yeah, you know, all of this could have been avoided uh, if you were just a little more careful in who you boinked. Um, but, uh, you know, it just seems like uh, the Portland comic scene has has a pretty freewheeling attitude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? but apparently, but, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're consenting. Even if they want to do something, apparently it can come back to bite you in the rear. So be more choosy about who you, you, you date and you do yeah. things with. I'm just saying, you know, if you're one of these people, you might want to consider that because if you apparently, if you, if someone feels like they're the jilted party, they can just go and, and cause all kinds of you yeah, know, and there ruckus. Are, I mean, this isn't the first time this has happened in comics. Uh, there, there have been other, other people that have had their, I'm saying, this isn't the first time. No, their know. careers destroyed by vindictive exes or whatever. Well, I mean, um, dick pic guy though. He really, well, dick pic guy. Yeah, that's, it. don't I'm a girl pics. and I gotta tell you, we do not like the dick pics. I, I've gotten dick pics and it was not you. Sorry, but it was before. You. Oh, this isn't <laughs> no, I told you before. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, uh, unsolicited dick pics are never a good thing. I just Unlike mine, which you. are always solicited <laughs> by you.
I just but there's no pictures. There's no photographic no. evidence. Yeah, don't keep pictures like that. Um. So yeah, the 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 point of all this being. Um, that, uh, you know, the comic book industry really lacks the professionalism, separate personal and private, and, uh, you know... Um, it's high school. It is absolutely high school, and... They will turn on you in a heartbeat. They will absolutely turn on you, especially, and, uh, you know, again, this isn't to make this a race thing, but if you're a white dude, you already have a target on you. I mean, right, the way that things are going in the indie comic scene, especially... Uh, you have a target on your back. And they have to and have their daily quota of bitching in. If you do anything remotely that they're going to take offense to, you're going to be the one they throw under the bus next because they got to get their daily, you know, suck ass and, and you know, hits for the day to make sure that their, their numbers are going up. They have to make an example of someone daily. It's like they can't survive without doing yeah, that. Yeah, and it's social media numbers, not, or not. not financial numbers. It's social media numbers. Like, these people live uh, for, to, to, to you know... Uh, grow their social media presence but then you look at the sales of their books and they're in the gutter like you sold like, 10 copies but you have thirty thousand yeah, followers yeah because you spent all your time on freaking twitter fighting people yeah how do they get their work stuff. done i don't they understand don't. This. they phone it in and then it just uh, everything goes to shit and again and we don't do comics that we don't do the comics there anymore no, so we really don't care if they I get mad at us or not i don't care it's if i have to play by those rules and please a bunch of catty nasty people um, who are probably thinking bad thoughts about me anyway just because of who I am, uh, I really don't give a shit. You can just go around Twitter in general for that, but it's yeah, just worse there. Yeah, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You just go into politics. I don't think either side would like me very much. No, I don't think no. I'd get any we're votes. Two, we're, two, we're two in the middle. Uh, All right. But yeah, so we just wanted to touch on this just because this is kind of an important... <laughs> you said touch it. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of an important thing. Not trying to you know throw this dude under the bus any more than he already uh, has been. No, he threw but, himself under the bus. We're yeah. just talking about it. We but have nothing to do with it. very, very indicative of how uh, these people in comics work. And we've, we've seen this behind the scenes for years, and now it's actually coming out. Uh, and you know, yeah, and this is, stuff, this is nothing new. This I mean, well, new. no, it is, it's worse than it ever it's, been. It's worse, but, but like the whole backstabbing behind yeah. your back, talking about you, doing sabotaging people, you know, picking someone to pick on, it, it's worse than social media's come around, but yeah. it's just nothing, it's nothing new. Comics just doesn't have any self respect. I mean, the industry is just, it's not even, yeah, we've said it before, other people have said it before, it's definitely a club and not uh not a, an actual business anymore and it's just it's freaking high school so just be aware if you want to get into comics this is what you're gonna run up against um and also keep your thing in your pants uh, yeah so, sorry i went on that rant but so, i'm just like you know all right well um words to live by subscribe to clown Fish tv for more pop culture news for more gaming videos for more art videos uh we'll try for to more keep more keep your dick in the pants talks no i'm just yeah. kidding i won't do that again don't worry we won't do any more more pp talk um so <laughs> so uh yeah that's I've, i'm done i'm out okay okay <laughs> see ya